Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, my absolute favorite of the, uh, you know, classic open source true roguelike games, and I'm happy to be playing this thanks to Classic Brad. Classic Brad gave a giant donation to the Extra Life Charity livestream, uh, and that entitled him to pick a game for Let's Play, and one of the things he did suggest, I will say, was Thea which I have not played before, and I do want to investigate at some point, but he also talked about Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, which we haven't played for a very long time, and he's challenged me to attempt a 15 rune run, which, of course, I have never done before. I, I suspect this will probably end with failure, but we're going to try damn hard along the way. So welcome to the adventures of Brad the Gargoyle. I've been playing on version 27 of the game here and haven't really played since version 25. Haven't really experimented very much with the uh, changes on 26, which uh, one of the radical changes there was no food. Um, but a lot of the gods, the, the monsters and things have been rebalanced. Same thing with 27 over here, which actually saw an interesting uh, change to the uh, um, gu guaranteed damage reduction, which I found kind of interesting, plus a whole slew of other things too. But I was just looking through the patch notes and those were some of the things that stood out. There are new, some, some new species that were introduced as well. The uh, Palantoga, Tonga in uh, 26 and the genie here in 27. But I want to go to this gargoyle. And the reason is I really enjoy the gargoyle gameplay. Um, I think they're very interesting. I think they are very powerful um, and fairly easy to understand their ability pool. And since I haven't been playing as much lately, I think that's going to be a good pick for us. So we're going to go with that. And we are going to pick the Berserker background. And the reason for that is I do want to start by worshiping Trog. However, we are going to consider the possibility of maybe switching over to the Shining One at some point. I don't know if it's as important to the Gargoyle because the Gargoyles do start with one point of innate... Um, uh, negative energy resistance, uh, plus they have torment resistance as well, uh, but it, I, ultimately I don't know if they need to switch to TSO the same way. We're going to go to Berserker. I'm going to go with Hand Axe over here. Now, we do have a minus one aptitude with axes. We don't level them up quite as quickly, but I think overall they're probably a stronger weapon choice than the Mace. I think the Cleave is incredibly important. The minus one is going to hurt us a little bit, but hopefully not tremendously so. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and focus my skill on the axes specifically here. Uh, if you haven't played this game before, there are a number of skills that are available in the game. That is not what I meant to click. Hang on. Thank you. Let's do this. A number of different skill types available in the game. And the biggest influence on your character isn't your starting class, but is in fact your starting race, because your race determines your aptitude with certain skills over here. So again, we do have the negative one with axes, but this, this aptitude just means um, the difference in leveling speed. If there's a four point difference, so let's say someone who's got a minus two versus a plus two, the uh, that will result in leveling twice as quickly. So we are going to take a slight bump to our uh, axe XP, but I think I I am going to focus on that still and I'm going to be kind of okay with that uh, and I was going to say yeah I think with my clicking I did accidentally actually make, make sure it's only on axes actually turn on stealth over there so we'll see how it goes one of the things with the gargoyle that's interesting is we do get built-in um, damage reduction or built-in armor which means uh, that we don't actually have to focus on wearing heavy armor specifically, which means we are open to a little bit more spell casting which is nice we'll probably try to do that we'll we'll focus I mean if, as long as we're with Trog, Trog doesn't like spellcasting. He doesn't even let you read books. Scrolls are okay, though, I guess. Um, so we're obviously not going to be a spellcaster then. We're going to focus purely on axe. I think axe and shield kind of combo. But then if we do make the switch over to TSO, we can open up some spellcasting options, and I think that might be quite cool. In any case, we're going to go ahead and get started. We only have the hand axe and an animal skin over here. Really light on equipment, but we do start off by worshipping Trog, which means we do have access to Berserk right away. We do have a failure chance over here. The failure chance, I believe the failure chance on berserk is new um and uh all the abilities that trog have scale purely on piety not invocation or anything like that so um we'll see how that goes all right let's pop open the first room and find a potion right away okay lots of big double doors here wow quite a linear uh, initial path the ring mail is very enticing because we can get an armor upgrade right away. One of the things I do like to do is look at the AC and evasion over here as a total. So about 15 total kind of damage mitigation potential. So if we go and equip this ring mail, for example, uh, it's going to bring us up to a total of 18. In fact, I think our evasion is exactly the same as before. So we just got some free AC, which is great. We're going to drop the animal skin. And one of the things I want to do is with the hand axe over here. If we get our hand axe 
our axe skill to 14, that's when we get the minimum speed, the minimum attack delay, the fastest attack speed really, I guess, with um, the hand axe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit S, and what it's gonna do is gonna put a limit on our skills over here so that we don't skill up past 14 currently. We will have to change that as we find some other axes. Can't remember, is it the broad axe? Is that the best one-handed axe? I can't remember what they're called, hold on. The best one-handed axe is in fact a broad axe. So, um, one of the things, the one of the other reasons I wanted to start by worshiping Trog, in addition to the fact that just getting some early Berserk is going to be handy, uh, ooh, gloves, let's get that first, is that he does give you weapons, and, um, there we go, we got another point of AC over there, and um, that is going to be one of the ways we can get a Broad Axe, because it's certainly not guaranteed that you can get yourself a Broad Axe. We've got a Ball Python over here, ooh, and an Ectoplasm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back up right away, so that only one of them can attack me at a time, because where we were before, two of them could have gone. It's going to be our first fight over here. It should be okay, although I don't like being conscripted. Constricted. What we're going to do is move around. Now, the, the oops, I didn't want to right-click here, I want to do XV. That's what I want to do. Um, they're not fast, right? Oh, it is fast. Oh, dang. So we can't really escape you. Honestly, I'm going to go Berserk right away for this fight because I'm a little scared with the Constrict and the speed that we might get ourselves in a bit of trouble. So we're just going to pull back to safety over here and uh, we will rest until we're healed. There we go. Do a little more auto explore. I just want to make sure not to explore in a straight line too much because what can happen is... Um, you can get flanked from the side, especially while fighting, because fighting is loud. So I really want to cover the back edges over here. Okay, I want to do this for vision. Ultimately, pulling back on the python might have been a good idea. Okay, good. And see, this this thing, can, we can take a lot of damage from this python early on. One of the things that's nice as a gargoyle, we are 100% immune to poison. Actually, we could do uh, this over here to see the... Um, the gargoyle abilities, we are completely immune to poison, not just resistant, but immune. And that does make it so that you don't have to worry about certain early game killers like adders. You don't have to worry about uh, the resistance to electric shock is actually really handy as well. When you do run into those uh, electric eels early on um, late game being uh, resistant to torment and petrification becomes that much more useful as well. And then you yeah, have the basic AC immune to sickness and miasma is kind of nice. And uh, we will develop the ability to fly later, which opens up a few more options as well. Okay. I'm a little less, it'd be nice if we'd leveled up but I'm a little less concerned about things. We could grab the hunting sling as sort of a backup ranged weapon. I don't know, we'll pick it up so we'll have some options, but we'll see. Bats are pretty annoying because they do like to jump around a lot. And the... Could you please die? One of the things, they're very fast. They don't actually teleport around. They're just really fast and like to dodge. Uh, and usually it's better to just sit in place and let it come to you. Pick up some more potions, more scrolls, hatch in the floor. Have we even found a downstair yet? We must have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, back there. Couldn't see any on my screen, so I was starting to wonder. Okay, we've got a goblin who just shouted, so he did make a bunch of noise. Might bring some friends. We're just going to make sure to fight in the, the hallway here. It's a bit of a bottleneck. Looks like we're okay. We're going to grab these sling bullets as well. Okay, we got an endoplasm. That's a new name. Didn't they just used to be called slimes and stuff? I think so. Yet the plant, the plant begins to die. I'm not used to seeing this message over here. I mean, we got a cleave on our axe is what happened? Does it seriously just, like, die over time? That seems new. Hello, goblin. Come over here. I don't expect there to be a lot of stuff out there. All right, we're level two. I feel a lot safer for this stage of the dungeon. Just because our hit points just went from, what, 14 to 19? Something like that. It's a big jump. We don't care about the leather armor. A couple of rats. I'm fine with that. Just for safety, I'll go ahead and still make sure. Oops. We only fight one at a time. We do have a cleave with the axe, which is why I like it, but... We're still better off fighting in a hallway. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Now, what I often do in some of the deeper dungeon levels is I make it a habit to peek down a few of the stairs to get a little bit of an idea of um, the surroundings. But here, I'm not too worried. Dart Slug is slow, but can be very dangerous, the range attack. I was pretty sure we'd be able to take it okay. Um, and the problem is it does have a range attack, so I couldn't really kite it back to the stairs too much. I'm just going to peek down the stairs and do this as well. Um, mostly, this is protection for... If you do fall through a hole, although I think that the um, pit traps are can't spawn in the first couple of levels of the dungeon. I don't know. They've changed the, those rules a few times since the start, and I've never really memorized it. But um, this way, we have at least a bit of an idea about the dungeon three uh, stairs to run away from. Uh, the other thing is if you do catch you know a loner dude like this by the staircase, it's a very safe place to fight and gives you some extra XP to explore 
uh, the rest of our real floor here, which is floor number two. Okay, took a lot of damage there. Freezing damage. Interesting. I guess that would be the endo part of that. Okay, that was a little scary. Just going to stand on the stairs. Cobalt with a whip should be fine. All right. Frilled lizards okay as well. All right. Worms can do a lot of damage, but they're very slow. You really should never die to a worm. Oh, there's the last uh, little staircase. Okay. I'm actually going to move forward, even though that's going to open me up to an attack. Okay. I did that kind of poorly. Um, because the thing is, what I would have wanted to do, I wanted to have the gap between the stairs so that it wouldn't follow me up. I'm gonna read some scrolls soon. Hello, Hobgoblin. Just gonna fight here. Fight you. Whoa! That is a very early ogre. Love- ugh, This is gonna cause huge problems. What- What is this? Teleport trap? Teleport trap. I mean, I can force it. Well, I don't know if I can force the teleport. I think the monsters generally avoid the traps. Okay, we're going to go up these stairs. We're going to go down this stair. Find the worm again. You know what? I'm going to go berserk. Oh, shit. Okay. That was risk there. I could have died, but I'm not on a streak or anything. So it's not the end of the world. Okay. Um... I think we're going to boost our strength. It's an interesting question at this point. If we are going to be committing to melee, uh, we're going to want strength for the heaviest possible armor and just good melee damage and all those things. However, um, and the thing is, high strength does reduce the encumbrance of heavy armor, which means that high strength can help you cast some spells. On the other hand, so can intelligence, but our intelligence is so low right now. I think I'm going to commit to strength. I don't think we're ever going to be a high level spellcaster because we are going to be, you know, seriously, dude, because we are going to be wearing some fairly heavy stuff. Ring of Wizardry over here, which uh, currently we can't use, but at some point we might. Now, there's still an ogre wandering around. I don't like that we don't know where it is. What I could do, oh, this is quite, we could get caught here with no escape, because that's kind of a bit of a dead end. What I could do is just go down to level three, which likely will be easier than fighting a freaking ogre. Pull back here, although if the ogre comes up from behind me, that's gonna be incredibly bad. So I'm actually doing a little bit the reverse of what I often do. Normally I wanna, you know, back away from things. Okay, I don't like how far away I am from the staircase right now. And, oops, that was a misclick. I didn't mean to move forward. Come here. Come here, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely taking a lot of risks here. But partially, because it is a fresh run, I'm not on any kind of streak, I'm willing to take a few risks early on here and try to progress. Okay, axe level four. Again, we are leveling those axes a little slower than normal. But I still think it's a good weapon. We would really like to find a shield. Even if it was just a buckler. Let me figure out, just clear out the rest of this big room over here, which is nice and central as well. Okay, dead end over there. Um, lag. So that's the thing. I like playing online. And one of the things, and apologies to Classic Brad, my character isn't technically named after him. Although I will be referring to this as the run of Classic Brad the Gargoyle. Um, playing online, your character is just named after your username. Um, but I like playing online because you can track your stats long term. It also guarantees you're not safe scumming and everything like that. So it feels a little bit more authentic. The downside, though, is sometimes you do get lag. I'm not actually playing on my favorite server here because um, um, I've been finding it very, very laggy. So I'm playing on a different online server. So I now have a hunting sling of freeze, which is quite interesting. We don't have the slinging skill um, that we're training. What's our aptitude with uh, slings? It's another minus one. I think I'm going to turn it off, but it is interesting that we have it. We might use a little bit. Hound skeleton, that's okay. Should be very safe. Although my D&D &D mentality makes me think, oh, I should have a bludgeoning weapon for this. Okay, done exploring. So there's still the ogre around, but we don't... Well, there it is. Just don't get a speed boost. 
keep the gap between us. I'm just trying to get to... Well, any staircase, really. So what I can do... I can always step on the teleport trap as well. So I can do this. That is the wrong button. Although I could trap it on the upper level. No, here. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run into the teleport trap. There. And I'm going to go down a level here. So we're going to leave the ogre parked on level 2. Thing is, we might be able to kill it with... Um, you know what I just realized? Do we not start with a berserker potion as a... Uh, uh, maybe maybe it's as a fighter you start with a... Sorry, potion of might. Um, I, th I thought a berserker started with a potion of might, but maybe it's the fighter background. Okay. Uh, it's It does feel a little early to read some scrolls, but I'm going to read from this four stack. Hopefully it's... Um, oh, it's vulnerability. Well, that's kind of useless to us. All right. Damn. I mean, it lowers our magic vulner uh, resistance. It also does it to our opponents, but... That is really not going to be very useful. Oh, one of the changes in patch 2.27 is that shops can appear in the first three levels, which I don't think they normally can. How much cash do I have? I don't have enough for the cloak. It might be nice for us to buy it when it becomes available. The other thing I'm going to do is put a marker on this buckler. There's also a kite shield there and a helmet. All these things are fairly attractive to pick up early on. The buckler, first of all, we don't have anything on our offhand, so it would be nice to have access to that. Um, and as long as you've got a, a shield in your inventory, you can train your shield skill, which we're going to want to do. But the cloak is going to be a good um, item to give us at least one point of AC from the cloak itself and whatever else it has on. I mean, it might be it might be cursed, but you know, hopefully not. Teleport trap. Haha! <laughs> disappeared. Okay. Alright, so orcs sometimes come in packs. So far, this seems okay. All right, that's not so shabby. Okay, orc over here. Probably shouldn't have done that auto explorer there. That was actually a little bit dangerous. Um, what I'm gonna do is sort of clear the area around here because there's a lot of little separate side things where again, we're hoping to not get flanked. Just making sure this gets cleared before we check some of these side areas. Okay, more scrolls is nice. Do I wanna check this downstairs? I might. Hello, artifact armor. Resistance corrosion, plus four strength, plus two dexterity, plus two slaying. Oh, well, we're definitely going to put this on. So our overall defensiveness have stayed the same. We lost point of evasion, gained a point of raw AC, which I do prefer overall. But holy crap, that's really good. The corrosion doesn't really matter right now. Um, the, the raw stats are, are decent. The plus two slaying's amazing right now. Plus two damage. That's going to be huge. I like that so far this is all empty. I'm going to poke up this stair. Which is going to reveal some new stuff. Not really worried about the ball python anymore. Can I get an amulet over here as well. Now the amulet we really don't want to... Oh, does this get auto ID'd? A lot of stuff gets auto ID'd now. I'm a little surprised this did. But, yeah, we'll put this on. So we're going to gain faith faster here. Now, if you take it off, you do lose some, which can be really annoying. Orc Wizard. Okay, you should be fine, but we definitely are going to want to break line of sight. And I am I think I'm going to Berserk. Yeah, he went invisible, huh? And now I'm confused. Berserked and confused. Amazing. There we go. Got the kill. We'll just wait. Wait some more. Okay, I can't berserk right now, and I'm currently slowed from... Oh, shit, there's another wizard there? Well, that I don't like. How do I want to deal with this? I'm slowed, so I can't really just run to the stairs. I can't use my, my berserk ability, because it's on cooldown, although it wouldn't surprise me if it was about to go away. It might be worth blind reading some scrolls here. Just in case. We've got we've got a second. Scroll of acquirement. Well, that's incredibly interesting. Um, manual of bows, which let's uh, skill up our ranged attacks fast. We don't care about that. Triple crossbow of the lusting seer. Boots of Recklessness would give us regen right away, which is nice. We could also just take a bunch of money. Now, um, hold on. What's the gargoyle? My crossbow affinity is a zero, which is which is good and fine. This, I, 
I think I gotta take this and switch over to some sort of range. I don't want any bolts, though. I don't care about the R poison. I don't know, unless I just take the regeneration here. That's a really good crossbow. But it's really not what I was looking for for my build. I think I'm gonna take the boots. I'm gonna get surrounded here, which is annoying. So it doesn't actually help us currently. Okay, I'm confused. I don't like being slowed. I can't... Okay, there we go. We're gonna be all right. Let's say we might have to start chugging random potions here, which is extremely dangerous. All right, Boots of Recklessness on. Can I tune your sis? Oh, I, get, I think I've got to be full healed before the regeneration kicks in. To so stop you from just cycling things on and off, which makes sense. There you go. Now they're going to tune ourselves to our, health, uh, our healthy body. Get some potions. We did find... Okay, so we've got two artifacts already on dungeon level three. What the hell is this nonsense? This is actually nuts. Hey, Adder. I'm immune to your poison. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely getting some lag. Maybe I should be playing offline. Oh, I really didn't want to. Dang it. I peek down these stairs. Okay, peek back up. Can now call on Trog for regeneration and willpower. Excellent. So, yeah, I have a new god ability here, Trog's Hand. Which, uh, yeah, it gives you magical um, ability and regeneration as well. Like, magic resistance is what it gives you. Did I have another down staircase I didn't explore? No, I've explored all of them. All right. I wonder if I should go up and try to take on the ogre. I, I'd feel a lot better if we had a better axe. Now, we might still change to maces and flails, because we do have affinity uh, to that if we were to find one. Okay, there's another ogre there. It's still flagged as red difficulty, which certainly makes a lot of sense to me. Let's go and take another look over here. Well, there's a buckler, which is really nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unflag the... Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I remove it? Oh, there we go. Oh, the lag is real. That's going to be dangerous. I want to remove the buckler from the list of uh, shopping over here. We might still come for that cloak. All right, let's go down. Well, this is the bit that's near the ogre. Oh, he's still there. All right, well then. Let's go to this staircase. Oh, right, both of those are close together, so that's never going to reveal much. I just want to look a little bit more over here. But then I kind of want to make back towards the central room. Okay, that's fine. We definitely need a better weapon. Trog eventually will gift it to us, though, so. You're fine. How's our skills coming along? Okay, axe is at a five. A little risky to do that auto explore. We're moving a little bit towards the area of the ogre. I'm gonna open these doors because I don't want to lose time when I'm trying to move through them. I'm gonna peek down here. Blork the orc. You should be fine. I should maybe mark that staircase, but he's awake, so he's gonna be moving around. What am I doing scroll wise? I do have a stack of three. I wanna do some more scroll reading here. I'll go this way. Okay, that's probably just one big room. Hello, Grinder. Man, I need to stealth to um, avoid these guys. What's Grinder's issue? Pain and paralysis. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, now, I can go and ask for Trog's hand right now, which will give us some extra magic resistance, will help against that. And then maybe I just go berserk and go for the kill. Um, I think we're going to try. Regen willpower. Berserk. Done. Levels, levels, levels. Um, yeah, let's just keep going strength. It's going to be okay. So I'm just going to open this door and then wait in this area. All right, we're good here. That's nice to see. Could also done sling things. We're going to do more scroll reading when we're on the next staircase. All right, you're throwing some poison darts. We're immune to the poison, though. We really want to have this level completely explored. Necrophage is kind of dangerous. All right, what's your deal there, Necrophage? Um, 
Can hit and drain life. Yeah, which is pretty annoying. Resistant to cold. So even if I switch to my um, my sling, we're not in a great place. Oh, getting yeah, more online lag. It's not fast, although neither am I. We do have to regen. I don't know. We can probably just do something like go berserk and, and go after this guy. Berserk solves a lot of problems. Trog is a good god. Alright, let's peek down the stairs. So, okay, our above level isn't completely explored, but I'm going to go ahead and take a risk. The problem is if we hit a teleport like that, we've got to come up, we're going to wait, we're going to get teleported somewhere, and we could have got, found ourselves in a really bad place. But apparently I keep taking a few risks here. But now that we know our teleport spell, we are in a safer position because we can use that as a get out of jail free card. Okay, the ogre is no longer flashed red, which I think what's going to happen here is more berserk and obliterate. Should I go and kill the one on level two? Okay, jackals. Pack of jackals can be very scary on level one because they do come as a pack but they are no longer scary in any way whatsoever. Boom, boom, boom. I guess scrolls of vulnerability on auto pickup. Oh, you know what I did? I never did set a skill up for the buckler. So I'm going to set the skill starting on that. Um, that enabled it, right? Yes, that's going to be fine. We still want shields focused, but we'll, or sorry, axes focused because we want to get them in delay, but we'll turn on the shields. We'll get to level four. Now, there's also this kite shield over here, which is interesting. I think I'm going to start just... Now that we've got the buckler, just develop the shield skill. I'm not going to level up to the next shield quite yet. Um, actually, what I might do is I might turn off the skill target for the shields. What do I do that? Do I type zero? There we go. I'm going to turn off the skill target for the shield. So the shields will keep just skilling up overall. Um, and then, you know, maybe once we get past four, we'll go and switch to something else. I think there was a downstairs we didn't check out, which is this one over here. Hello, Necrophage. They're no longer red highlighted, and I don't... I probably didn't even need um, Berserk for the last one either. Adder's okay. All right. So we still haven't gotten a weapon upgrade. Let me go and do a quick check here. If we go and search... I, mean, I could filter for all weapons. Really nothing impressive at all. Wow. Hello, Blork the Ark. I forgot you were here. I think we're fine to take you. Yeah, you can hit me with some magic effects and things, but you can't actually paralyze me. Go Berserk for safety. Now, Berserk can be dangerous when it runs out. Like, you're a death machine while it's running. We could use the Battle Axe, um, which is a pretty decent two-handed weapon uh, at this point. Um, so, the Hand Axe is a base damage of 7. The Battle Axe is a base damage of 15. It would mean not being able to use our shield. But actually, I think for now, it is the correct thing for us to do. Is to use the Battle Axe. We're going to pick that up. We're going to wield it. Oh, I have to take off the shield. Okay, I'm too berserk. Hang on. I stand on the stairs. We're going to unwield the Buckler. We're going to wield the Battle Axe. I believe we're still skilling up shields, though. As long as it's your inventory, you can skill it up, which is going to be great. Now, the Battle Axe needs a much higher skill to reach Min Delay, which is 20 over here. Um, we might not actually care about that, because I don't think the Broad Axe needs that. I don't know what the Broad Axe Min Delay is. Um, it's 18. So I don't think we're going to do that. But what I might do, since our intention is probably to do something like that, I'm going to set... Oops. I'm going to set the skill target on our axes to actually to 18 with the intention of eventually switching there. But again, we, we could always switch to maces and flails or something like that if the opportunity presents itself. All right. Well, we've taken a few risks, which I'm always kind of okay with at the start of a run. We have made it to dungeon level five at this point. Um, nothing too terribly discovered. Actually, we've never even seen another altar. Wow, that's really... I'm really happy we started as a Berserker then, because we wouldn't have a god at this point. And that would start to get kind of frustrating to not be... Because, you know, you're you're killing things... Well, generally, killing things gives you piety. Um, so we'd be, have killed a bunch of stuff, 
but wasted all this piety and got nothing out of it, which is really unfortunate. Um, Gold-wise, we don't have enough. Oh, we do have enough for the cloak. You know what? Let's go to it. Let's pick up that cloak. It's on dungeon level 3. We can then go up to dungeon level uh, 2 and maybe kill the ogre for some XP. So yeah, I'm going to purchase this. I'm going to wear it and hope it's not cursed or anything. Oh, it identified it when we picked it up. Plus one cloak. Beautiful. A little bit of extra freebie AC. That's good. And yeah, we could uh, we could go up to level 2. What I can do is what? Shift X, Control F to forget the floor? No? Is that not it? Oh, there we go. I must have just hit the wrong key. There we are. And we'll go kill the ogre. Whoops. As I say, we won't even need Berserk. Hmm. We do have regeneration. So I know I said I was going to put in a cut. But what we're going to do is we're just going to dance around this pillar here using our regeneration to heal everything up quicker. And then we'll go Berserk and smash him. Okay. I mean, you know, there's always a, a cost to going Berserk with the piety and stuff too, but... I think it was worth it for the kill. All right, folks, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much again to Classic Brad for supporting the amazing Extra Life charity. And I uh, hope everyone excited for the continuing adventures of Brad the Gargoyle. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.